what is up youtube tinman77 here and today we talk about the best adcs to play with bard here you see the tier list i will talk about some of the picks some of them are obvious and if you want to make you want me to make an in-depth video about a certain champ why he's good with bard why he's maybe not good with bard leave a comment but yeah let's see Karthus is real god tier. That's normal. I made a whole video on why Karthus is super super good with Bard. Ezreal is the obvious pick. Everyone plays this with Bard. He's super safe while Bard can roam. He can poke with Q. And maybe make a more in-depth video about this as well. Then here we have Ash A+. Ash is just super good right now. Ash Bard probably one of the strongest level 1s. They have a lot of slow, a lot of CC. Just a super good lane, good poke. Chin would be in God tier, but Chin is not that good at the moment. If if it's a meta where Chin is better, like when they buffed Storm Razor and stuff and they release it, it's definitely God tier. But for now, we leave it on A plus. CV as well. You can just farm while Bard roams, one shot the wave. Jinx synergizes well with the traps and the portal. Senna, here we're only talking about fasting Senna. So if you play AP Bard and then you will farm with fasting Senna. It's a really good lane. If Senna farms, it's still fine, but it's not that good anymore. And yeah, a lot of people think mages are really good with Bard. They're okay, but... Bard has a super, super strong level 1. And you want to get an advantage level 1 because he has a bad level 2 and a bad level 3. So oftentimes I will all in level 1. If I have something like an Ash, an Ezreal, Karthus, and Mages, like Seraphine brand, they're just not that good level 1. They want level 2, level 3. Their autos deal less damage, they're starting AP. So, yeah, it's not that good. Then, also the Caitlyn pick. A lot of people think it's really good with Bard. It's not. I made a whole video on this. Why it's not great with Bard. Then the FF picks. Callista here would be lost. Callista is... Like, that's unplayable. If I have a Callista one trick, I would play something else. Callista Bard is terrible. Same with Nyla. It doesn't mean, you know, you can never win a game with it. It just means you will have a super low win rate. Also, sometimes you will have three lanes, so it doesn't matter as much. But if you're playing against something like Nautilus Kaiser, something aggressive, then yeah, with Ezreal Bard, you can fight it. With Bard Nyla, not as much. Is there anything else? I mean, a lot of this is self-explanatory. You know the word I'm meaning. You know, it's. You guys know what I mean. I'm having a little bit of a stroke now. So, what Bart wants is either a good lane, but he also wants champs that synergize well and they that can survive on their own, like Wayne. Wayne Bart doesn't have a great synergy, but if you will roam the whole time, the enemy soup might roam as well. Wayne will beat any ADC in a 1v1 if she plays it well. Okay, the usual happened, something followed on my Twitch and I used my Twitch overlay and I forgot about it. Sorry about that. Thanks for the follow, Denko04. You are in the YouTube video. Yeah, so uh, yeah, if you want uh, more explanation on any champ, leave a comment. I think I'll leave it at that. Bard 6, super strong. 6 is going to get a buff. So maybe it's going up even more. But a lot of 6 players are kind of bad. A super good 6 player, it would definitely be up in A. But I have to take that into consideration. Here's the tier list. If you're playing Bard, send this to your duo ADC friend. And thanks for tuning in.